a while ago Trumon was quite popular. Released back in 2016, it got even bigger because of Hitties on DLC in 2018, which added new mechanics and fresh campaign. Now, six years later, devs from Gameos or how you pronounce it, have dropped a new DLC called Deeper Underground. So what is this new content all about and is it worth your time? Let me break it down. For those who missed it out, Trumo is a simple yet addictive game set in 19th century America during the oil rush. You are basically trying to strike it rich by drilling far, liquefied dinosaur fossils. Yep, oil. You dig deep, upgrade your gear, manage resources like gas, and try to outsmart challenges to become the richest person in the Wild West. It's capitalism at its finest, minus the whole worker exploitation thing. I forgot to tell you important thing. To make this review, of course, I got a key, but Along with it, I got the key for base game together with DLC The Hit Zone, which I don't need it because I had them already. So I came to the idea that just to do giveaway that you can find on my Discord channel, there is a room for that and, well, maybe you're gonna win. Alright, let's get straight to it. Some people are loving this DLC, but others not so much. While Tarmol itself has a great reviews, Deeper Underground has been a bit more divisive. So what are people complaining about? One, it's short. Yeah, I agree. Compared to the hit is on, this DLC is shorter. After waiting 6 years, you'd think they add more content. When you beat the campaign, it's just a simple game over, unlike the base game which had an extra old field level as a revert. Not big deal, but still. To be fair, the previous DLC also didn't have additional level as a revert. But again, I agree, it's shorter. Second, making petrol. One of the biggest grabs seems to be with new petrol making mechanic. But here is the thing, some of these complaints feel more like skill issues than actual problems. I had no trouble making cash by refining oil into petrol, honestly, it's at a fresh challenge. I mean, I get it, switching from selling oil to petrol might be jarring if you are used to the old system. But come on, folks, it's not rocket science. Anyway, if you have played it, let me know what you think in the comments, as I'm curious of your opinion, my indie games travelers. Deeper Underground adds some significant changes to the core gameplay. First, there is a new resource, water. You use it to reduce digging costs and connect it to your refinery to produce petrol, which 90-80% of the time sells for way more than oil. The trick part is managing your water supply so it doesn't spill out. Thankfully, there is no fine for that, but you will need a lot of water to refine all the oil you find. And if your refinery overheats because it runs out of water, boom, it will break down. So yeah, water management is key here. One valid complaint is the lack of upgrades for raffineries. A simply upgrade to increase raffinery capacity will have made things a bit easier, but alas, no dice. Quick reminder, every day a new indie games hit the market, and my mission is to dive into them and let you know what's worth your time. If that sounds good, hit that subscribe button. And now, back to the video. Now let's talk about the other big feature, the digging deeper mode. This mode challenges you to dig as deep as possible. Every few rounds, you will need to hit certain depth targets like 500 meters and later on 1000. Each 100 meters gets you an extra $5000, so it's basically a race to dig down while managing limited cash. But here's where things get tricky. There are rocks in your way and diamonds rocks that you can't drill through at all. Luckily, Dynamite is your friend. It's not cheap, but thanks to petrol, you should be rolling in cash anyway. There is also a clever little valve system to help you manage your water while drilling. If you do it right, it will save a ton of money on drilling costs. Honestly, it's not that hard. Just use some basic logic. But yeah, some players seem confused about how it works. Again, skill issue or maybe more fault of developers. Not clearly enough explaining the newest mechanics. I'm not going to spend much time talking about the art style or music because honestly there is not much new in this DLC, it's still turmoil and it's still well optimized with no major bugs that I noticed. Look, I get why people prefer the hit zone or why the new mechanics might not be for everyone. Personal taste, right? But when I see people complaining about not being able to beat the game because they didn't figure out how to sell petrol instead of oil, I gotta say that sounds like a you problem, not a game problem. I've played the DLC for a few hours and in overall I like it. The petrol mechanic is quite a neat twist and while digging deeper mode could use more spice, as I can agree with some people that it's a bit boring, it was okay for me. If you're a fan of Time Mode, you'll probably enjoy it too, but I can't guarantee that after seeing some reviews. Maybe I am wrong, but in this review I'm providing my experience, and it was fun. If you want to check out the DLC, there is a link in the description, it's pretty affordable, and if you like the base game, you might just have a good time with this one too. If you enjoy indie games and wanna see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into new releases and hidden gems. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!